off with the latest drama on Capitol Hill. Congress might finally be sending Ukraine that aid money they've been asking for, but it might cost Speaker Mike Johnson his job. The Speaker of the House says he's taking a stand despite threats from within his own party that could cost him his job. House Speaker Mike Johnson says he will call a vote on funding for the war in Ukraine, saying this is not a game. House conservatives railed against the plan. You want him to resign? You want him to resign? Yes. Yeah, I asked him to resign. There's no other way to describe it. It's surrender. It's disappointing. Hey. I'm very disappointed. Is it time for him to get out of office? I need, I need a little bit more time today, but it's not good. Johnson arguing the stakes around the world are too high. I'm doing here what I believe to be the right thing. What? <laughs> that was your first mistake right there. Doing the right thing in Congress? <laughs> you must be new here. <laughs> Shit is not looking good for this man. Man. Hmm. I think he looks like a giant little boy. <laughs> Out here in his daddy's suit. <laughs> gray streak in the front, sir? I know baby powder when I see it. Come on, now. I did musicals in high school, okay? The point is, this Pinocchio-looking motherfucker might get kicked out of his job by his own party, all because he doesn't want Russia to take over Ukraine. And the one coming hardest for Speaker Boss Baby is Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I believe she'll get him fired because this lady has the strongest Karen energy I've ever seen. We are angry, and people have had it. Speaker Johnson needs to resign. People are not going to like any of this. They're going to be angry about it. He is a damn fool. I am so pissed off about it because the American people are pissed off about it. Damn! <laughs> the last time I saw a white lady that pissed about a bill, she was getting kicked out of a Chili's. <laughs> get Mike Johnson fired, but she's definitely getting store credit for something. <laughs> then again, the House is all about having representation, and she certainly is representing all the moms out there who have assaulted a kid's soccer coach. <laughs> the crazy thing is, if Capitol Hill Karen does get the speaker fired, that'll be the second time in six months. Republicans, if you're constantly firing speakers, maybe the problem is with you. <laughs> Y'all can't even explain your position without sounding stupid. We're mad that he's working with both parties to pass bills. Ma'am, that's his damn job! <laughs> See, this woman is like one of those friends who complains about a boyfriend, but it just makes her sound bad. Like, can you believe Mark canceled dinner with me just to visit his mom in hospice? <laughs> oh, he's so selfish. <laughs> but let's move on to the presidential race. Today, President Biden was campaigning in Pennsylvania, where he received the endorsement of literally 15 Kennedys, who picked Biden over their own relative, RFK Jr. <laughs> is brutal. Can you imagine being at your own wedding and when the pastor asks if anyone objects, your entire family stands up and goes, please don't marry this man. We know him better than anyone and he sucks. <laughs> but while Joe Biden is trying to get endorsements, Donald Trump is out here trying to get paid. Donald Trump's team wants Republican candidates to give them a cut of their fundraising cash. The campaign is telling candidates and committees that if they use the former president's name, image, and likeness to fundraise, they should give at least 5% of what they get to Donald Trump. It says any split that is higher than 5% will be seen favorably by the Republican National Committee and President Trump's campaign. Trump is shaking down the candidates in his own party <laughs> for a cut of their money? Oh, this is some straight-up mafia shit. Trump's about to leave a horse head in someone's bed. <gasps> or even scarier, Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Do you know how crazy this is? 
Usually candidates in the same political party campaign together because they have a shared vision for the country. Trump is like, F that, find me on Venmo. <laughs> Imagine any other president acting like this. Obama was never like hope and change. And when I say change, I mean empty your pockets. <laughs> Donald Trump needs to understand that you do not get paid by extorting your friends. <laughs> you get paid by reminding them to buy your book. <laughs> Hello, friends. Stories of dating, destiny, and day jobs. Available in bookstores, online, and on Audible. Thank you so much. <laughs>
and he is the owner of Gino's Bakery. Troy! Now I know he's Gino! No, 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 no. Gino is his father, the original owner. He is named after his father, though. So. Please just move on. Who else did they pick? Uh, uh, well, they did select another male, and out of respect for his privacy, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is he is male. But you put this man's picture up. Yes, but we responsibly censored him. It says McGillicuddy Family Vacation on the T-shirt. Oh, shit. Oh, you're right. Okay, uh, let's censor that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fix it! <laughs> it's totally just, private now. Just, 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 just forget the whole thing. Just tell me what happened at the trial today. Uh, well, the defendant, whose name we're restricting for privacy reasons. <laughs> Uh, he was very agitated. <laughs> yeah. Very agitated today. Troy, honey, we know the defendant is Donald Trump. He's not the one we need to keep secret. Better safe than sorry. Okay? <laughs> anyway, the defendant uh, was angry all day, and at one point, the defendant told the jury, Watch your backs, Stephanie, Charles, Susan, Jamal, and Gina. <laughs> Whoever those people are.